everybody. Welcome to the channel, Taking the Bathroom. The bathroom is the only place where you can place your gadgets in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorials. If you want to support the channel, check out my ebook, www.themanisemselfonfire.com. PayPal donation link in the description of this video. All right, you already see the title. You see the thumbnail, toilet flushes out there. I want to show you how you can increase your speed on your hotspot or any Wi-Fi router. Now, a couple of things I want to explain before we jump into it. There are several ways you can increase your speed. I always say number one way of making sure you have good speed is your location. Your proximity to the cell tower. Location, location, location. If you have trouble knowing whether or not this can work in your area, just pick up any AT&T cell phone with a data plan and go to fast.com. If you're getting speeds over 15, then you're good. The hotspot is going to work in your location. Another thing, guys, when you're looking at your speed, make sure you have the correct APN set up for your hotspot and make sure you have a good IMEI number. Those are some things that can help aid in faster speeds. But you can dive down even further if you use this method here. And I want to tell you about changing your channels and looking at what bandwidth you are on with your hotspot or any router that's in your house. I want to show you exactly how you can find out if you're having congestion and how to change that. But first, let's jump into the computer and I want to show you the difference between 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. All right, so here we are on a website called Stuff Fiber, but you can Google just about any website and find the same information. Please bear with me. I just want to skip through some things so you can have a basic understanding between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Now, as you can see, 2.4 gigahertz, it offers coverage that is farther in distance. Now, you have to look at this as frequencies, as waves. The higher the frequency, the faster the speeds, but the less amount of travel time it have. So 2.4, it doesn't have high frequency waves, so it doesn't have that fast speed, but it covers more distance than five, uh, five gigahertz. And when you look at 5G, because the frequency is so high, the waves are so high, they don't travel that far. So the only way that it can be effective is they have to have many, many centers for them to crisscross and bounce off each other. All right, I digress, let's get back to it. Now you can see right here, say that um, basically the same thing I was saying is that higher bandwidth means that files will download and upload faster and higher bandwidth applications such as streaming videos will perform much smoother and faster. Higher frequencies allow faster transmission of data also known as bandwidth. Therefore, the five gigahertz with its higher bandwidth will provide much faster data connection than 2.4 gigahertz. It, it go ahead and give you some suggestions for choosing the best frequency frequencies the thing about 2.4 gigahertz there are a lot of devices on 2.4 gigahertz so a, a lot of times even though the signal travels farther it can get crowded there's a lot of things such as microwaves cordless phones baby monitors garage opener hey even drones guys are on those 2.4 frequencies so they get crowded pretty fast and those channels can get pretty congested 5 gigahertz, they don't have a lot of congestions on their channel, so it's pretty much wide open. Now you kind of understand the difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Now before we go ahead and start changing things, like what the old people say, if it's not broke, then don't fix it. So we want to know if we have trouble first before we go in and start changing channels want to know do we really have a problem and so i have my cell phone open and most of us we go ahead and we use this application anti-litty um for speed test but i want to show you some of the great features that they have on here so we go ahead and you see you have a quick test you can go ahead and you can run a quick test and they show you what you log on to etc 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 and then they usually give you like a speed test and you can see in the type right hand corner right here you can see that i'm on five gigahertz that's very important to know where you at if you're on 2.4 are you on five i'm on five gigahertz right there a lot of times these things these hot spots and routers are set to automatic some devices don't have five gigahertz they only could connect to 2.4 gigahertz so make sure you know which one you are connected in but it gives you that that basic information right there now here's the thing that i want you to pay attention to and if you can see right over here if i slide myself over you can see channels so we want to go ahead and we'll go to channels all right and then you can see what's overlap if i have like any issues you can see right now i have a lot going on right here and it gives you other devices in my home and you see the green line that's where i'm at 
but there's really nothing overlapping this green line you see the channel 48 44 40 36 so it's kind of show you like the other devices and to make sure that you guys are saying this correctly let me go ahead and hide myself kind of this way you can make it more visible but you can see that green line up there and then it drops but there's really nothing that's overlapping me right here and that's great so that's let me know that i don't have anything overlapping but it shows all the five gigahertz band and it shows the fluctuations and uh, the most important thing is the channels i seem to be pretty good right here but if i was to start having like major issues you see how it fluctuating going, jumping up and down so if i'm starting to have major issues then the next thing i want to do i want to go ahead and i want to change that channel let me show you how you can go ahead and you can change the channel but before we do that take advantage of this and be more than just doing your speeds guys it really can give you like a lot of detail let's jump into our router and we're going to change our channels now the first thing you have to do is learn how exactly can you log into your router if you're using a regular home router if you look at the bottom or on the back of the router you're gonna have an ip address make sure that you are logged onto the router meaning connected to that router name you have the correct password and you enter that ip into the address or at the top it's going to ask you for a password um and a username that too is found on the back or underneath the router it's no different than the hotspot the hotspot you look on the box that you purchase it from it should give you a website that's going to take you to the router make sure you log on to the router if not you can look into the settings of the router and you usually can find it in the help section it'll tell you exactly where you can go what address you have to go to what website you have to go to log in and the correct password so here i am i'm logging to the mefi you can see right here i can sign in or sign out in order to make sure that you can see everything i'm going to make myself disappear again that way you have the advantage of the full monitor you see you have different settings right here the only thing we're looking for is the wi-fi setting so we want to go to wi-fi with the hot spot we want to go to general now if you're in a router look for the wi-fi settings and then look for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz turn right there to general and then it's giving me the options between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band i'm going to click on the 5 gigahertz band settings and you can see we have the settings right here now i always select the acn now you're gonna have more options if you are on a modern router always try to select the ones that have the most now right here i'm at 80 uh, megahertz look higher don't always mean better people so i want to go ahead and i want to switch that down to 40 and the channel that i select right here is um, channel 40 also i'm on this channel right here and once i made this selection i'm gonna go ahead and i want to press confirm which is going to save that now once it's saved i'm good to go you can see it automatically log me off of the router you can see at the top i'm on my data and then it's going to switch to the next available wi-fi that's just how i have my phone set up i'm gonna go right back into this I'm going to connect and then what I like to do is I like to just run the speed test and see if I'm getting different speeds. Just repeat this process until you find the best setting for your device. Now as always when I'm in here you already know that in my studio I have a double roof I have a tent roof and I, it always struggles to get good speeds on the hot spot because I have a double roof or a tent roof so I know right now that my speeds are going to be low but I know that these speeds should be higher than kilobytes I should be at at least nine megabits per second so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to change my settings I'm going to take it from 40 I'm gonna put it back to 80 all right I'm back up in here go back to the hot spot general back to my 5 gigahertz which to 80 megahertz press save confirm I'm gonna see if that make a difference 
Now, usually, guys, I recommend that you turn off your hotspot or you reset your router at home just to make sure that the settings are taken even though you select save. But for the sake of time, I'm just doing it this way right here. And we're going to see if that made any difference at all. Again, it disconnect when the settings are saved. I got to reconnect. Then I want to do another speed test. Can't increase your speeds by tweaking your channels. Use the tools that I showed you here. Not just use Analyti for a speed test, but use it to see exactly if you have congestions in your home and if you need to change your channel. It's your boy taking the bathroom. Until next time, peace. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tired of paying high internet bills? Can't get internet in your area? A IPTV reseller want to offer your clients something different. Guys, I can show you how you can get unlimited internet. That's right, unlimited data. I have a 20 minute long video. They walk you step to step. How you can go to the magical website and all of the tools you need and the equipment you need where you can cut your internet bill down to $35 or you can resell internet to your family, friends, and neighbors. Go ahead and send me a cash app at dbogan78 or PayPal me at taking the bathroom or my PayPal email address, bathroomminister at gmail.com. Unlimited internet. If you want to know more, I see you in the comment section or send me an email at taking the bathroom.